Right now at 5, a Kenosha alderman faces the possibility of going to prison. That alderman is charged with stalking a woman over a period of two and a half years. Mark Ruffalo was arrested yesterday. He's being held on bond. Ben Jordan is live in Kenosha with more. George and Shannon, despite dozens of efforts to get Ruffalo to stop, prosecutors say he never did. This man who helps lead the city of Kenosha finds himself in a Kenosha courtroom charged with a felony. The defendant's behavior was daily and sometimes hourly uh, against this victim. According to court records, John Ruffalo's ex-girlfriend told him not to contact her after they broke up back in 2014. She claims he continued to call, email, and stop by her home and workplace. Ignoring repeated warnings from the victim. Mount Pleasant police warned Ruffalo to stop a year later. Police say their message didn't resonate. The victim reported receiving hundreds of calls from block numbers since. Even as recently as a couple days ago. Mount Pleasant police then served a second warning this May and installed a hidden GPS tracking device on Ruffalo's car. It shows he lurked outside her home and workplace dozens of times through June. Here we have an individual who is 54 years old with no record whatsoever who is a lifelong member of this community. Ruffalo's attorney taken aback by the state's suggestion of a $50,000 bail. He claims Ruffalo poses no danger to anyone except the alleged victim. There are no allegations here of any use of weapons. There's no allegation of uh, claims or threats to use force against the specific person named. And the city of Kenosha has remained tight-lipped on these allegations. No comment today from the mayor. Ruffalo is due back in court later this month. Live in Kenosha, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. Ben, thank you.